sweep the leg. Ah! What is happening good people of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're back here. Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. This is episode number nine. In the last episode, you saw it, I saw it, everybody saw it. If you didn't see it, go back and watch it right now. What the hell are you waiting for? We fixed a Skyline GT for a customer. He basically stole it off of some kid. And we uh, fixed it up for him so he could flip it around and make some money. We also found a ton of crates in our inventory and we kept getting more crates and we couldn't stop getting crates. We got so many crates that we leveled up to level 13, got some cash. We also expanded the shop as much as we could. Let's go in here and take a look. All right, we got another lift. We expanded the shop over on this side. We now have a warehouse. We've got a brake lathe, we've got some repair tables, we've got the engine stand, we've got all the tools and bits and pieces in place for us to start making a huge impact in the car mechanic scene. Not only nationally, but globally. I mean, I said it, you heard it. Now we are set up for success and making tons of money is our goal. Take a look at the skill tree here. We've got one available skill point. We are going to save that, but we have maxed out the renovator side of the skill tree. And I believe the next up, we are going to go through this skill tree over here, which gives us a break on some of the costs. Everything else in the skill tree is basically aesthetics. It's moving faster, examining cars faster, and screwing faster that's right sometimes it's good to screw real fast just saying at least that's what i've heard i'm not judging anybody all right so in today's episode we have got a couple things we want to do we want to go to the junkyard we want to try and pick up some cars we're also going to search the piles of junk for some stuff that we can fix and sell make tons of cash that way additionally we are going to pick up this next story mission car the bmw might look for some other side work that we could complete and then we could customize the shop we uh bought the perk so that we could customize the shop i believe it's this little ladder right over here just taking a quick peek at some of the things you can do. We can, uh, you know, customize the floors, customize the walls, and we are going to get into that hopefully in this episode. But man, we are rocking and rolling here at Route 66 Auto. And uh, let's not take up any more time blabbering on and on, whatever that means. Let's get to the junkyard. Oh, here we are, the Dust Bowl, the junkyard. And uh, right off the bat, I see a car up there on the uh, little porch of that shop. And uh, there's a car sitting over there. So we do have some hunks of junk to choose from. But let's start off here by looking in some of these piles of junk. Now what we're looking for are body parts that are orange. Uh, 15, 16, 17 percent um, in need of repair. So let's pick up all of the body pieces. And we're also looking for rims and then big engine pieces also in the orange that we know we can fix. I tell you what, rims make a lot of money here. So if we can uh, pick up some rims, I know we'll be sitting good. Crankshaft, I know we can fix that. There's a camshaft, we can fix that. Man, this car is awesome. This is uh, one to put on the bucket list, it's something we can restore as a dream car. I mean, anything that Dodge makes that we can throw a Hemi in, that is our forte. I tell you what, they want 9,921 bucks for this car. And I'm pretty sure we could fix this thing up and sell it for a lot more than that. All right, let's take a note before we buy the car. We have 25,671 credits. We are gonna buy this car and we are gonna put it in the garage. All right, our first car is bought. And look, here's a car sitting over here. Looks like it's a Nissan Fair Lady Z. That's a cool looking car there. And they want 8,330 bucks for it. Uh, we're gonna let this sit here for a second and let's see if there's any other cars that we find that we might have a better shot of making money on. All right, looking in some more junk piles here. We got some body parts. I'd really like to find some rims. All right, one thing you want to don't pick up things like glass and stuff like that. You're not going to be able to repair those back at the shop. I'll tell you, we are finding a lot of body parts here that we can fix up, and that's a good thing. I still haven't found many wheels. Oh, there's one. There's a rim. There we go. 
any rim that you see that's in the orange, go ahead and pick it up because we're going to fix those. A lot of times you can sell them for a good chunk of change. And you want to go around to as many piles of junk as you can. Oh look, we found a barn location map. Oh, that is awesome. Add that in there. I'll tell you what, that's always a good day when you can find one of those. But like I was saying, you go and you find as many piles of junk as you can and you feel like looking through. And while you're looking through the piles of junk, just keep an eye out for any cars that are laying around that you might be able to pick up. All right, we have got a good selection of parts and pieces. We've already bought a car. We can probably, I don't know, we got $15,000 left. We can probably buy two other cars if they're around the $5,000 mark. And there's a car. We got two cars sitting here. Looks like this is a Mustang Fastback. All right, and it is. 71 Mustang Fastback. They want $12,000 for it. Oh my God. Well, I don't think we're going to spend $12,000 on it. Although it does have a good amount of the body panels here. And it also has a good amount of this engine. I mean, I don't know. This could be one we could make money on. Also a cool looking car that we could restore. Let's take a look at this. This is like a Dodge Challenger. Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat wide body. Wow. 10,466. Man, look at this thing. Oh, it doesn't really have an engine. And it's missing a lot of the body pieces and parts. No seats, no steering wheel. This thing is a hunk of trash. I'll tell you what, I don't think it's worth the $10,000, but wouldn't it be cool to restore a Hellcat wide body from scratch? All right, let's keep this in mind. We're going to pass on the Mustang. I mean, I have a feeling we're going to make a good $10,000 just in fixing up parts. Oh, here, it looks like a Mitsubishi Evo, and that's exactly what it is. And they want $8,413 for this. Oh, man, $8,000 is going to leave us with about $7,000. There's lots of stuff we have to decide on. Let's leave that there and just keep looking. All right, and this is the last car that I see here. We've got a Plymouth Roadrunner, also a cool car. $5,920, that's what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and buy this one. We can surely flip this around. All right, send that one back to the garage. Now we got $9,830. Are we going to buy one of these other cars? I don't know. That Mustang's out of question. It's too much money. I believe this wide body Hellcat is going to be out of the question because, yeah, we spent too much money. That's fine. We can come back to the junkyard as many times as we want and try and find a cool car to restore for our personal collection. Today's just not going to be the day. One of the things we want to do is add a paint shop into the garage because the next mission, we're gonna to have to paint the car. All right, back here at the Datsun. 8,330 bucks. We're either going with the Datsun or we're going with the Mitsubishi Evo. It's gonna leave us about 1,500 bucks. All right, we're going with the Datsun. Let's buy it. 8,330 bucks, send it to the garage. Leaves us with $1,500 exactly. Jeez, how does that happen? All right, if we're trying to return to the garage, we can't because we don't have enough money We've only got 1500 bucks, so we got to whittle this list down a little bit. All right, we've whittled the list down to $1,403. It's going to leave us with $97. We're doing it. Back to the garage we go. Oh, my God. We, we don't have any money. Oh, what did we do? All right, back here at the garage with our $97. I'm not sure if we did the right thing. We got a couple junkers here. We need to flip these, and we need to flip these fast. But before we flip those... We've got to make some money, and how are we going to do that? We're going to go in here, and we're going to start repairing all the pieces that we picked up, starting with the body panels. All right, here we go. It's time to go into super concentration mode and play these little mini games. Here we go. All right, well, that's it. We repaired a couple pieces, and then uh, we're out of money because it does cost us money to uh, repair these things. All right, now into the inventory. Let's get that barn location map, and let's go ahead and accept that. We are going to sort our inventory, and here's all the things we can sell. Wow, we do have some bits and pieces here that we forgot to sell from the last episode. Let's go ahead and start selling this stuff off. Here we go. We're just selling everything in our inventory that we repaired and extra pieces until we get to these brake caliper things because we do like to hang on to these. Extra spark plugs. I mean, these are all the things that we bought during our story mission. We can also sell everything that's uh, below, let's say 40%. All right, that gave us 5,224 bucks. 
I'll tell you what, this is pretty awesome. We're gonna keep on repairing. All right, we've repaired all of the body pieces in our inventory, and it looks like we accidentally sold off all of the, <laughs> all of the pieces that we were gonna fix. All right, so we made a little bit of a blunder, but that's all right, we got 5,173 bucks from that. Uh, so it's definitely enough money to get out here and bring some of these in and start fixing these things up. Let's start with this Dotson. First things first, into examination mode. Let's get those free experience points. All right, we're done examining this car. Let's go ahead and move it to the car wash. All right, what a cool little Dotson. Love those little cars. Let's go ahead and wash it up. Look at all the suds, getting the grime off, exposing all the rust, and what a cool little green color. It's actually two different shades of green, that's fine. All right, interior detailing going on. All right, now let's move it into the shop. All right, now it's in the shop. Let's go ahead and get our welder. Move that over, and here we go. Let's weld it up, 1,200 bucks. Weld it up, and there it is. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take some of the pieces off, like the hood, and anything that's above 15%, we can take it into the shop and try and repair it. All right, let's go in here and repair the body pieces that we took off. Start with the hood. Oh, bam, look at that. All three of these pieces we were able to repair back to 100%. Now let's put them back on the car. Starting with the door, then the right fender there, and now the hood. There we go. All right, and that's all we had. Let's check out the car status and see if we made some money here. $4,155 in profit. It costs us $1,200 from the welder. Let's go ahead and sell this car now. And there's a quick little profit. All right, going back to the gate. Car number two, the Plymouth Roadrunner. Let's go ahead and get that free experience. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put out a guide on uh, you know, getting the free experience and uh, flipping these cars from the junkyard. Just like a little money-making thing. I know there's probably two million videos out there on how to do it, but uh, I'm gonna put one out too. Maybe people have forgotten how to do it. And uh, maybe people wanna hear my take on it. <laughs> Who knows? And speaking of my take on it, it is time to ask yourself the question of the day. Are you subscribed to the channel? And if the answer is no, stop what you're doing right now. Go outside, run around naked, and yell at your neighbors. <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't, don't do that. I mean, you can get arrested and go to jail, then you'll blame me. The cops will come and smack me in the face. Nobody wants that. But subscribe to the channel. What the hell are you waiting for? Moving this thing into the car wash. Let's wash it on up. And while this thing's washing, you subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification so you're notified of all the content coming out. And hit that like button. I don't care if you don't like the video. You got to do it. It's part of the YouTube rules. Washing the interior. And while we're washing the interior, leave that comments down below. It doesn't even matter what you say. All right, now the interior is washed. We're going to go ahead and move it into the garage. Bam! Here it is in the garage. Beautiful car. All right, now the welder here. Let's go ahead and use that. $1,250 bucks. it's going to cost us. Look at this beautiful blue color. I mean, what an awesome car. All right, now that the water's done, let's try and take some of these pieces off. Anything that's above 15%, you can go ahead and try and fix. All right, let's try this hood here. The hood is only at 4%. Let's go ahead and put that back on. All right, how about this door over here? Oh, the door. Looks like we can, we can replace the door. Sweet. Let's go on in here and see if we can replace and repair these body parts. Whoops. All right, well, we failed on one and we uh, succeeded on the other. So let's go ahead and put these parts back on. There's the good door that we fixed. And uh, here's the one that we didn't fix. We actually made a little bit worse. That's fine. All right, let's take a look and see if there's any profit to be made with this car five thousand dollars in profit that is pretty good let's go ahead and sell this baby all right car sold we're already up to twenty five thousand eight sixty nine now if you were taking notes which you should have been i don't know what kind of student you were in school but you should be taking notes always take notes during my videos we went to the junk car with twenty five thousand six hundred seventy one dollars we're not even through the last car yet we've already got twenty five thousand eight hundred and sixty nine dollars so we're already well on our way making a good bit of profit here all right we've done examination mode on this car let's go ahead and get it to the car wash suds this bad boy up what a beautiful car all right interior detailing time and boy we should have our seat our seats are in our warehouse if you remember the last episode we put all of our seats in the warehouse and uh so we don't have them here to add into the car but that's all right 
Let's go ahead and move this into the shop so we can weld it. All right, there we go. Let's pull the welder over. $1,500 is going to cost us. Wow, that's a lot of money, but it's going to be worth it. All right, the car is done being welded. What a beautiful color here. Let's go ahead and pull some of these pieces off. One other thing you can do is you can pull the wheels and tires off. You can separate them with this uh, tire machine, and then you can try and fix up the wheels and put them back on the car. That'll get you some extra cash. And you can also take the engine and the suspension apart and fix some of those pieces, put it back together. But, um, you know, if you just want a quick flip, this is the way to do it. All right, there we go. Fender is repaired. Let's go ahead and slap it back on and see how much money we can make here. All right, there it is. Right front fender is back on. Let's check it out. 5,423 bucks. Let's sell the car. All right, there it is. We got 39,695. Overall, so far in this episode, we've made about $14,000 in profit just from going to the junkyard. And that is pretty cool. And you know what? That's enough profit where we can go ahead and expand our business and buy the paint shop for $15,000. Oh, bam, paint shop has been added. We're back down to $24,000, which is pretty much what we started the episode with. All right, let's take a walk outside here and try and find the paint shop. All right, walking around the side of the business, we got the car wash. I'm not sure what this area is going to be over here, but wow, look at this thing. This is a huge paint shop, and here it is. Wow, really impressive. Still some boards up. We're going to have to fix that up, but look at this. We have definitely got a nice paint shop here, all the paints on the wall. And we, oh God, we just hit ourselves in the face with a door. <laughs> I hope we're okay. And here's our paint booth. And right here we can uh, go into the paint shop and choose colors. I really don't know what that's all about yet, but we are definitely going to do that. I tell you what, let's bring in the next story mission car. It's a BMW and we got to get right on it. Hey, hi. So, uh, yeah. I borrowed the car from my dad. He kind of doesn't know about it because he's on a business trip. And you see, it happened I was driving home at night and, uh, yeah, something jumped out in front of the car. I was driving real slow. I really was. I didn't manage to brake. You can see the results of that in front of you. The car was thrown around a bit, but it can't be that bad, can it? Please do what you have to do to cover up the tracks. My father will hate me if he realizes I messed around with his gem. It's his beloved car. Please make it quick. Well, here it is, and that is not a gem. Oh, my God. This kid totally destroyed his father's car. He's going to get his ass kicked. I mean, if I did that to my father's car, he whooped my ass. I wouldn't even have an ass left. I would be assless. I would try and put on some assless chaps, and they wouldn't even fit because I wouldn't have an ass. All right, taking a look here. Wow, we have got parts that have not been discovered yet. We got to replace the body parts. We got to change the oil and then we got to paint it back to its original color. And uh, then we got some other tasks that we can do. But man, we are going to have to get into this car. Kind of scared of this job, tell you the truth. All right, before we do anything, let's go into examination mode, get those free experience points. All right, examination mode is done. We got a lot of experience points for that. Let's move this thing to the car wash so we can get it clean. All right, it's in the car wash. We got to get some of the dirt and grime off of this thing. Take a look at it. Oh my God. What did he do to his dad's car? I mean, that is ridiculous. What did he drive through a swamp? Sheesh. All right, we're going to wash the inside too. I mean, who the hell knows what was going on in the inside. All right, let's move it into the garage. Man, this thing has seen better days and I'm not even sure we want to be a part of this job. I mean, can we get sued by the dad if he finds out we worked on his car without his permission? I guess not. All right, first things first, we're going to run all the diagnostic tests and stuff like that and get some more free experience. And oh, it looks like one of the tires is uh, bad with no tread. Maybe we'll replace that. All right, let's check the multimeter testing. See what we find here. All right, all this stuff looks pretty good. No cause for concern there. Let's go ahead into the compression tester. Let's go ahead and start this. Now this is going to give us an idea if there's anything inside the engine. So far, everything's looking pretty good. All right, everything's looking good inside the engine. Thank God he didn't ruin that. All right, next up is the OBD scanner, the onboard diagnostics. And let's see if that finds anything. All right, everything there is looking pretty good too. So it looks like it might just be like suspension stuff that's wrong, I guess. Let's go and do the fuel pressure test. 
see if that uncovers any issues or problems. All right, there we go, everything's looking good there. All right, well, we did discover some of the parts during the examination of the car, but we got some stuff that's not yet been discovered. We got body parts to do. We gotta change the oil. We also gotta change the coolant and refill the windshield washer fluid. Tell you what, while we're in the engine, let's go ahead and change the coolant. All right, here we go, there's the coolant. Let's go ahead and take that out and we'll put some new in. And we're also gonna get that windshield washer fluid out and replace that with some new. Some of the simplest jobs, we'll take care of those first so we don't forget at the end. You know, our memory's not the greatest here at Route 66 Auto. All right, there we go, coolant is done. Windshield washer fluid next. Let's go ahead and fill this bad boy up. All right, that's all taken care of. Uh, I guess first things first, let's start ripping apart the body pieces and see if we can fix them. All right, taking the, we're just gonna take the hood and the fenders and the doors off and uh, we'll see what can be fixed and what can't be fixed. All right, over to the repair table. Let's try and repair any of these pieces that we can. And there we go. All right, we've fixed all of the pieces that we could. Let's go ahead and try and put all the pieces back on the car. And the pieces that couldn't be replaced, well, we're just gonna have to buy them. All right, now in the uh, shop here, there's the body tuning and then just the body shop. We could buy some really cool parts for this car, but I'm pretty sure his dad would know if we put some custom pieces on the car. But I tell you what, we're taking a chance. I wanna see how dumb this guy is. We're gonna put some custom pieces on his car. The front bumper and the rear bumper are gonna be these nice custom pieces. We're also gonna to need to buy all the glass. So front left door, front right door, the rear window, uh, the body panel uh, pieces of glass here for left and right, the windshield. Not sure about headlights and taillights, we'll figure that out in a second. Let's go ahead and put the custom front and rear bumpers on, that's gonna be a hoot. Now dad's gonna have a modified bumper <laughs> on his car in the front and the back. Now we're gonna paint it up and uh, <laughs> we're gonna see if he notices. I mean, we're gonna give the car back He's probably gonna have to pay us a little bit extra because we put some custom pieces on. And uh, we'll see how this kid can explain that away to the dad. Hey, look, while you were on your business trip, I went and uh, had some custom work done to your car. Maybe it's like a Father's Day present or a birthday present, who knows? Hey, look, if the kid's good enough, he can get away with it. All right, replacing all the glass here. All right, there we go. Now the car still looks like crap. We're gonna use the welder, it's gonna be 500 bucks. And hopefully we can just get this car squared away and looking pretty good. All right, headlights are in there. Headlights are looking good. Tail lights are in there. They're looking good. All the glass is fixed. Looks like the body panels are all fixed. Now let's go ahead and take off the wheels and tires and uh, really get into this car. All right, first wheel coming off and look at this. Uh-oh, it's the first stuck nut of the episode. You guys know what we have to do. Move it up. All right, initial inspection of everything on this side. Looks pretty good. <clears throat> Let's go around on the other side. All right, taking a look in here. Nothing too uh, obnoxious that I see. Honestly, we can take a quick peek in here. And, uh, oh, there's an oil filter. That's gonna need to be changed. We can get to that from underneath the car in just a couple minutes. I mean, everything else is looking okay in here. All right, here's a wheel in need of repair. We're gonna have to replace And look at all this stuff back here. Oh boy, this is all messed up on this side. Let's go over here and let's separate out this damaged wheel and tire. We might have to buy a whole new wheel here. Yeah, it's an 18 inch rim. We are not gonna be able to fix it. Let's add it to the shopping list and we're gonna have to get him a new tire. It's a race tire, holy crap, this is a race car. Who would have known? 235, 35, 18. Let's go ahead into the uh, tire shop and buy that. Now we'll go back and put this all together. New wheel, new tire. All right, let's take that off of there. Now we gotta balance it. All right, wheel is all balanced. Let's take it off. Now that, remember that goes on this side. So I tell you what, let's put all the other tires back on because we definitely wanna put the new one on the right spot. All right, we're just gonna start stripping all this stuff off. Some of it I'm sure we're gonna be able to take into the back repair area and uh, fix it especially this brake disc. We can throw that on the brake lathe. And we'll take all of this stuff off. Wow, lots of stuck nuts here. I mean, it's multiple stuck nuts. Let's lube them all up. All right, I don't know what he did to this car, but we are just gonna rip apart all of this. All right, we gotta lift the car up to get some of these last few pieces off. All right, we got all the bits and pieces off. I think that we could see under there. 
Let's go ahead and check the car status. And oh, we got one part that has not yet been discovered. Boy, that's going to be annoying. I bet it's the oil filter. And uh, you know what? While we're under here, let's get that oil filter off. All right. Yep, there it is. It was the oil filter. So we've discovered all the bits and pieces. Let's go ahead into this little shop and see what we can repair. Now we're going to go over to this little table. Here we go. All right, a brake caliper and this suspension arm. Wow, that's it. That's the only thing that we can repair. Everything else we're gonna have to buy brand new for this section. Well, I tell you what, let's start trying to put it back together. It looks like everything here on the inside. Let's go on the outside and put these brakes back on. And now the new wheel and tire, we can put that back on and we are really close to finishing this job. All right, the oil filter is the only thing that we need to replace. Everything else here is done. Looking down the body parts, the right headlight. Okay, so we need a right headlight. We gotta change the oil, spray it to the factory color, and that's it. So this is pretty, pretty easy stuff here. Let's go ahead and change the oil out. We're gonna use the oil catcher thingy. All right, let's drain that oil. And now we're done, we can put it back. All right, oil has been drained. Let's go ahead and replace this oil filter. All right, it costs us 15 bucks, but you know how mechanics do. We're gonna charge them $75 for it. There it is, there's your $75 oil filter going back on the car. All right, let's lower the car. Let's replace that right headlight. There it is, let's go ahead and take that out. All right, we gotta put these license plates back on. Was it California or was it Maine? I'm assuming it was California. Let's go ahead and put these things back on. All right, it doesn't say anything about the license plates, so we can put the old crusty license plates back on. The only thing we have to do is spray this to its original color. Let's go ahead and move it into our brand new paint shop. And now we gotta paint it. Its original factory color was white. Oh God, who would have known that? All right, let's go ahead and choose that color and we're gonna hold down the button and paint it. Here we go. Oh yeah, you can see the car's getting painted. Its original factory color. What a beautiful car here. Let's go ahead and move it back into the shop. And there it is. Wow, that is something special. We got janky front headlights. We got custom front and rear bumpers. <laughs> I mean, if this dad doesn't know that this car has been messed with, he is an absolute idiot. All right, we got to refill it with oil and give it back. And we are done. Man, that was a big job. It sure was fun. And we got to use our new paint booth. Let's get a round of applause for that. I mean, that is pretty impressive. All right, it's filled up with oil and we are ready to give this car back to the sun. Good luck to you, buddy. Hopefully your dad doesn't kick your ass, but I have a feeling he's going to. All right, $11,200 for that job. We're up to 29,000 bucks. We are almost at level 14. I tell you what, that is a hell of an episode right there. You can't ask for much more than that. All right, can't wait to get to level 15. We can start going to some car auctions. Also, if we save up between 50 and $75,000, we're going to go to a barn to see if there's anything we can find, some special sort of car that we can bring back and start fixing up. But to end the episode, we are gonna take one more quick glance in the junkyard, making another trip back here. Let's see if we can find another car like that wide body Hellcat that we want to work on. All right, we're picking up a couple cars to throw back at the garage and we can flip them around real quick. Boy, say that fast three times in a row, bet you can't. All right, here is a Hyundai Tiburon. $4,000, we're buying it, send it to the garage. I'm pretty sure we're running out of space at the garage, so we'll take a quick gander down these aisles and if there isn't anything here, we're gonna go back to the garage 
to end the episode. I'm gonna hit a couple of these junk piles and I'll see you back at the garage. All right, we are back here at the garage. All of our cars that we bought, these junkers are filling up every nook and cranny of the space. Let's get in here. We're gonna fix all the bits and pieces and let's see how much money we can really make. All right, we got all the parts repaired, couple fails, most of them were successful. Now let's start on the body pieces. All right, there it is, all the body bits and pieces all repaired. Had a couple fails, most of them successful though. We also found a barn location map. Let's go ahead and add that to the map. And let's start selling off all this stuff and see what kind of profit we come up with. All right, we sold all of that stuff. 18,964 bucks is what we have right now. And we have got a lot of cars. We've got five junkers here. I tell you what, we are gonna examine all these, take them over to the car wash, Get them cleaned inside and out, use the welder on them, and do a quick flip. And let's see how much money we end up with, and then we will wrap up this episode. All right, the Salem Flamo, not a whole lot of profit there. Let's go ahead and sell that one. And I tell you what, I think just by doing these examinations, we are gonna hit level 14 here in this episode. That Mitsubishi Eclipse is going to bring us 4,558. That's pretty good. Oh, here it is. And this examination here is going to put us over 1,200 experience into level 14. And that is awesome. That free experience. Gotta love it. All right, here is the Honda Civic. Uh, not a whole lot of profit there, 1427. And two cars left. All right, the Mazda RX-3 bring us 3,107. That's pretty good. One more left. All right, and last but not least, the Hyundai Tiburon's gonna bring us almost $2,000 in profit. Pretty good haul there. We got five cars back. We got a bunch of bits and pieces that we restored and our bank account now up to $46,000. When we left before that run to the junkyard, we were at 29,000. So I don't know if you do the math, 46 minus 29 is, uh, well, I don't know, you can do the math. Let me know in the comments down below. What's 46 minus 29? All right, and we made it up another level. We got five skill points to use. And I tell you what, it's a perfect time to go with the good judgment. It gives us the ability to inspect the value of a car 
before we purchase it and that's really going to help us out in the junkyard so let's go ahead and level that up and that is awesome one skill point left let's hold on to it but man we are really rocking and rolling here at route 66 auto we didn't get a chance to customize the shop we're going to do that in the next episode i think this episode was a little bit long and that's fine let me know in the comments down below is it okay to have these long episodes? I don't know. You tell me. All right, take a look at the next story mission. It's a cargo van. And uh, we might get into that in the next episode. We might do some of these other uh, bits and pieces. Look, there's a truck. And that's part of the DLC too. That's pretty cool. The Ford F-350 Super Duty. But between this episode and the next episode, I might off camera do a couple runs to the junkyard, flip around some cars real quick. And uh, I'm going to try and get us up to level 15 and also we're gonna need enough credits to go on a barn run see if we can find an old clunker in a barn that we can bring back and restore we are looking for something special here at route 66 some personal project that we can work on and call our own and i tell you what that is all going to be coming up in the next episode and the episode after that and the one after that i mean who knows we could have 175 episodes in this series it's all up to you so look don't forget hit the like button subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so that you're notified of all the content coming out do all the things you gotta do you know what you gotta do just go ahead and do it but most importantly thank you guys for letting me be a part of your day it means a lot and we are going to see you right back here in the next video.